So what I did was I put an orbital strike here. I'm not sure if that's going to work. It kind of did. I can put my reflector shield on. And do that. Yes, we got a kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dream Hangers. And this week, we're going to have some really fun Dream Hangers. Uh, actually, funny is more the word. Um, I was going through the comments and, you know, I came across this one comment by Humongous Person. Now, the name is funny. Uh, the built-in power idea, I kind of went with it. What I didn't do is I didn't check <laughs> the rest of this hangar here because I noticed afterwards, um, you know, all the uh, robots don't have any weapons. So we have the Aojung, Favnia, Hawk, Ares, Shell. They either have EQ shields or Ansel shields. And we have a Minos with no weapons. Now, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go with it because who knows? It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, probably some pretty funny gameplay as well. And well, as you can see, we have the Aojung here with two Ansels. So here are the modules and the pilot skills. I'm not sure how I'm going to do with this kind of hangar because I've never, um, you know, run a hangar like this. <laughs> I have no idea how it's going to go. Trying to figure out, you know, what I'm going to play. I'm thinking probably Domination and I'm guessing the shell is probably going to be, you know, my beacon runner here. But uh, I'm kind of curious to see how I actually do with this hangar. Okay, so we got the Ares here. You can see two Iku shields. And uh, lastly, the shell, which uh, kind of looks funny with just the Ansel. Fortifiers. I guess at least I have a jump unit. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is going to go. Oh, man. Okay, so we've got the Minos here. I figured, you know what? Two antimatter reactors because I'm going to use this mostly to take out like regular robots. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to just charge a Titan because I'm not going to do that much damage to them. So regular robots and also two Titan anti-controls so that I don't get locked down. So yeah, that's going to be my hangar for the first game. And well, you know what? Start praying and while you're at it, uh, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And having said that, let's jump into game number one. Okay, so game one, we have dropped in on Dreadnought map. And um, I have started with the uh, shell here. I'm just looking at this guy. I'm going to try to uh, try to attack these players. Boom! Yes! <laughs> I have like no weapons. I'm going to run away. Oh, shoot. If I stay close enough, maybe this guy will get... Oh, wait, I can hit him. Yes. I think he realizes I have like no health or uh, no weapons rather. No! Boom! Yes! <laughs> oh shoot. I gotta run away. I'm gonna hit him again. He's uh, he's actually moving. Wait, we oh come on! Oh no. Oh no, his buddy's coming back. Oh shoot. Must run. <laughs> No! Boom! Yes, I got them! I gotta run this way. Oh, come on! If I can get this guy. Ah, oh, shoot. I need one more detonation quickly if I can get one more. One more! One more! Yes! <laughs> Man, this is actually really tricky. Not having, not having any, uh, oh shoot, the heck. Not having any, uh, weapons. Man, we got a kill. Oh shoot. Guys, someone needs to take care of that guy. I have no weapons. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> He's targeting me. Oh man. Wait, that guy has, he has QR. Man, I wish I had shield breaker or something on here. Oh wait, is he running Molots? What is- Oh! Oh, come on! He is running Molots! Let's use that. <laughs> I'm trying to kill him with this. <laughs> we actually did decent damage too. I need to- I need to go for this beacon. I'm hoping that he, like, moves back. Yes! We gotta get this one. Uh... <laughs> He's looking. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, but I'll strike. Did I get him? Nope. No. 
No, oh, oh, come on. We're getting the other guy back there, though. Holy crap, man. I need to find... That guy is... He's trying to EMP me. I need to hide. Seven seconds. Uh-oh. I think... Th this guy's got shield breaker, too. <laughs> no! Can we get him? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Jeez. My shield's gonna break. Oh, come on. 10 seconds, yeah. I'm definitely gonna go down. Man. Okay, so I've dropped in with my Aljung next. Uh, let's try to see if we can maybe get uh, this beacon here. Let's try to lock this guy down, actually. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on, man. How am I supposed to capture beacon with this? You know what's kind of funny is this guy actually didn't even... Uh... <laughs> oh, come on. This guy's going after me. You know what? I should go for that Arthur. That Arthur, I can probably do a decent amount of damage to. So we're gonna do that. Because I did lock him down, so I'm doing decent damage to him. Trying to hold down this beacon. <laughs> that guy's going after me. Ah, oh, come on! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, I'm gonna use a Favnia next. Because we need to get some beacons quickly. see if this guy I'm hoping that he kind of keeps an eye on me we only have four players left not sure why he uh, why he decided to heal me I have like full health okay so I'm gonna move towards uh, towards the center now let's try to see if we can maybe get this beacon Ah! <laughs> we're gonna get that yes we got him another kill I might even be able to take out this Arthur actually can I can I can I can I oh get him yes man <laughs> it's actually pretty challenging this we gonna go this way. What is this guy in? Gonna try to use the orbital strike on this player over here. We actually did a decent amount of damage to him. Um, I'm trying to figure out. Oh man! Let's try to get that. Uh... Oh wait, that Shiranga. We're doing a lot of damage to him. There we go. We still have the uh, the Minos left. I need to try to get um, another beacon here. Maybe maybe the center. I think the center might be a good one. I'm gonna try to go for this beacon. I go for this beacon, then I take out one of these players. Maybe this Miramets. Hold on a second. Someone's shooting me from above, but I'm gonna go into a flight now. I had to time it just right. Let's do this. And... Oh, come on! Man! He's gonna kill me now. Shoot. Okay, we have... We have a Minos left. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, come on! I gotta go for another beacon quick. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Where is my teammate going? He's going for this beacon. There's too many of them. Oh, wait. So what I did was I put an orbital strike here. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. It kinda did. I can put my reflector shield on. And do that! Yes! We got a kill! <laughs> 
Come on, I need... Oh, man! That guy's gonna kill me! Shoot! We got this beacon, though. No! Yes! Robin, I'll strike! <laughs> man, you know what? This game was a lot closer than I think, you know, I was expecting it to be. We're gonna take a look to see how I did here in this game. Oh my gosh, so without using any weapons, just the built-in weapons, I ended up doing 3.6 million, 6 kills, 4 beacons in that game, and I actually came first, guys. Can you believe it? So anyways, we're going to take a look at the next dream hanger here coming from Ahmed, and Ahmed is saying that he is working towards his hanger. He has the Orochi, the Favnir, Hechi, Scorpion, Revenant, Shuranga, and uh, yep, so I'm going to go ahead and build that hanger up and then show you what I have in terms of uh, the pilot skills and modules before we jump into game number two. Okay, so let's take a closer look here at Armored's hangar. So we have the Arachi with the Bane weapons. Um, you know, I would say this is probably one of the strongest, if not the strongest, um, Arachi build in the game right now. And uh, sometimes when I do run the Arachi, this is usually the build I use. Uh, we have the Favnir with uh, Cryo and Skadi. Now, one comment I want to make about this uh, build right now, because I was reading your comment and uh, you said to put the Cryos on the side and the uh, Skadi on the top. I would actually reverse that and put the Skadi on the sides and the Cryo on the top, because uh, when you go into flight, um, you're going to be firing your Cryos here, which only has a range of 300 meters and your Skadi, uh, which, uh, you know, if you had it on the sides here, you would actually have a range of 600 meters. So um, I think that's one change I would make. Um, you have a Hechi here with the Corona weapons. Um, I have Nuclear Amplifier, Last Stand, Jump Unit. And for this build, now this is just my opinion, but I would not run the Corona weapons on your Hechi. I would use uh, the Havoc and you can build Havoc in Workshop now. So I would uh, definitely kind of transition to that. And uh, also I would not use Jump Unit. I would actually use Either Advanced Repair or Phase Shift, I think, would be best uh, for the Hechi. We have the Scorpion with Havoc, Corona, and Scatter Weapons. Um, Death Mark as well. And if I had to improve this build, I would actually build another Havoc. So you have uh, two Havocs and, you know, the uh, Scatter. Because I think that would be far more effective than uh, running the Corona on here. Uh, for your Revenant, we have the Devastator and two Gust. And for this build, I would build two uh, scatter weapons, I think, if I had a choice. Yeah, because, you know what, in all honesty, if I had to choose between MK3 uh, Gust versus MK110 scatter weapons, I would actually go with the scatter weapons, because if I had to deal with, like, another Revenant or, like, an Invader or Fenrir, um, better to have those uh, Sonic weapons, uh, because it's going to do more damage, you know, to tanks. So uh, that's my opinion in terms of... Uh, this particular build here and uh, for your titan we have the shuranga with grom weapons um, we have two cannibal reactors antimatter reactor and quantum sensor i'm uh, just thinking about uh, you know this quantum sensor i think i would have preferred something like maybe titan accelerator instead because i'm not sure how much this is actually going to help um, you know this build but anyways that is ahmed's hanger let's jump into a game here and let's see how we do with this lineup Okay, so game two, we have dropped in on Dead City map. Um, we do have an Arachi in center. Okay, so we uh, we actually have, um, we have a Favnir here. Hold on. I'm gonna try to see if I can get this uh, guy. We need to, uh, we need to lock him. Get him down to his last stand. Uh, last stand has almost been triggered. Come on, guys. Get him down to that last stand. Quick. There we go. You know what? I might be able to actually get him with the jump here. Hold on a second. Can we get him? Oh! I messed up that jump. I was hoping to get that player. Now we are dealing with this guy, and I'm definitely going to go down here. So uh, this is why I say to use Havoc weapons because I think I could have uh, probably done more damage to that uh, Fenrir there. Man, I was hoping to... Uh... Oh, jeez, there's a guy right here. Wait a minute. We are getting five-capped. What the heck is going on? 
Guys, we need another beacon here quick. <laughs> These weapons are so bad. Okay, there we go. We got we got this guy. There we go. We need to get we need to get this right side back. I'm going to get killed by that Favnia. Oh man, come on. I wish I had I wish I had another Havoc here to deal with this guy. Okay, um yeah, I'm going to just uh, attack him with the uh, death mark. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do that now. There we go. Okay, so we actually got this beacon back. The uh, the downside is that we are down on uh, quite a bit of beacons here. My last stand was triggered too. Um, let's see. There's another player here that I can get. This guy. Uh, we're going to do this right now. Get him. Lost stand, maybe. Man, we need to uh, we need to get some beacons quickly. I'm going to use my Orochi here. I'm going to see if I can perhaps uh, either go to the right side or center. Looking to see... You know what? I'm going up against some IM players. I didn't realize that, you know, I'm going up against at least two here. See if I can perhaps uh, get this beacon. Yeah, a couple of players here on this side. I'm going to use the Orbital Strike here on these players. Get a couple of them with that. And... Can we get... Oh, wait. Yes! Let's try to go for this one. Maybe this guy will teleport away. If I can get this left beacon, we actually stand a pretty decent chance. We just need to get some beacons here. Um, let's see if I can take this guy out. There we go. And maybe that one too. Use the orbital strike there on him. Yes. Oh, come on. Let's get this guy. He's almost down. That corrosion. Is it going to take him out? I don't think so. Okay, let's see. 700... You know what? We are actually doing kind of decent, but if we don't get another beacon quickly, we're going to end up losing this. Like, we're actually doing somewhat decent here, guys. We need to push beacons, though. That guy on the right side, if you can go get that beacon, that would be a big, big help. Why doesn't he go for that right? Dude, the time is running out here. Shoot. You know what? I'm going to teleport to the left side. See if I can get uh, this one. Try to take this uh, guy out if I can. If we can get the left beacon. Yeah. So you see what I mean by having uh, the scatter versus <laughs> the gust. So what's actually doing the damage here is the devastator weapon. Okay. So I think we're going to get this beacon. But now they have the center. We need to get the center back. Quick. Someone's going to hit me with orbital strike, I think. What? Can we get... Uh, we need to stop this guy quickly. I can't let him get this beacon. Where's my teammate? Oh, no. He's going to get... He's going to get our home. Um, orbital strike on that guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, so they have their titans out now. Oh, man, this is bad. This is bad news. I'm going to try to stay on this beacon, but I think they're going to push me off. Uh-oh. 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 Ah! <laughs> Guys, hold down those beacons. I'm trying to hold this beacon down. She's too minos. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I need a heal, quick! Oh, man. 
Okay, um, we're gonna use the Favnia next. Come on, man. We can't give up our beacons here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna drop down here. I'm gonna drop, see if I can charge up on this side. So the downside here is that I've got cryos on this thing. Yeah, those cryos, I don't know. I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, you can see how it's affecting, uh, you know, <laughs> my ability to move. Sorry, dude, I've got to get to this side here quickly. We need to get another beacon quick. Um, if this guy starts firing at me... Yeah, we need... I need to... Uh, we need to do this. I need to get this beacon here. I don't have a choice. If I can take this guy out... Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Shoot, look at look at the beacon bar, guys. I need I need to get this beacon. We actually need four beacons. Okay, let's do that. If I can get him down to his last stand. I don't think we're gonna end up winning this. I think it's gonna be too late. Yeah, I don't think so. That one player should have actually pushed uh, the right side. Yeah, time is running out. This is where experience comes into play. So anyways, uh, because I wasn't able to play the Sharonga, I'm going to include some gameplay um, at the end here. But let's take a look to see how we actually did. I think I did somewhat okay. Uh, 6.2 million, 10 kills, 5 beacons in that game. And uh, this is how we stacked up. We were actually down a player here, it seems. So anyways, let's take a look at some gameplay here of that Sharanga. Okay, so I've just dropped in with my Sharanga and we do have an Arthur right in front of us here. Let's try to bust that shield of his. Let's get rid of him. Titan Slayer. And uh, this guy, if I can take him out as well. Come on. Oh. There we go. So anyways, thank you very much to Humongous and to Ahmed for your dream hangers. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay of them. And once again, to everyone else, if you would like a chance to be featured in a future dream hangers video, make sure to post your dream hangers in the comment section down below. And uh, if you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.